What's going on YouTube? This is Mr. Clean and thanks for joining me on the Pegasus 303 channel. Some people have asked if I can do tutorials. Not quite my thing, plus there's already a ton of information out there so I'm not too sure what I have to offer. But I did encounter one thing recently that I'd like to share with you. I installed Pro Tools 11 and I get the following messages and I'll show you how to get out of that. Go ahead and launch it. You may notice I also still have Pro Tools 10. Um, it's not quite compatible with Yosemite. I'm currently running Yosemite 10.10.3. Uh, the overall functionality of Pro Tools 10 works with it. It's just the graphics it does some weird things. It doesn't display properly. So I upgraded to version 11.3.1 Pro Tools. So go ahead and let that chug. First message that pops up, could not create the TCE plugins factory default file because the plugin doesn't support the current sample rate. Go ahead and click OK. This message pops up. Looks a little uh, scary, but uh, you'll be fine. Just go ahead and click OK. Now, I thought it was disk permission issues or something like that. I fixed my disk permissions. That didn't seem to help. And Pro Tools, you notice, it doesn't seem to crash. It's still open. But if I go to create a new session, that message pops up again, as well as if I click on an existing session. So that led me to believe maybe I should check out my playback engine. So I go to setup, playback engine, and go ahead and leave this as default, whatever you were previously set to, or change it according to how much horsepower you have and or hardware. So go to your playback engine tab here. Click this, now this is your uh, outputs. So I am currently using the Digi002 console which is now known as the Avid 002, and I believe that's the same for the 002 rack, but it's still compatible with Yosemite and Pro Tools 11. Avid says they don't support it anymore, but it still works, so uh, so far so good. Or you can choose your built-in output if you're just using headphones with your laptop or plug in straight into your uh, desktop. But for this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and launch the Avid 002. Go ahead and click that there and say OK. All right might be in business new session okay this is already looking promising looking good I'm just gonna grab just a random session and go ahead and load it let's drop that on the desktop shall we and if the session opens without crashing then we are in business it's better let that chug a little bit I might have edited it to uh, get it to go a little faster but uh, Kind of like watching the grass, bro. Just check it out. Okay, looks good. Session open. I think we are in business. All the plugins are there. All right, well, that's it. So uh, please uh, click like and subscribe below. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Maybe with something we can work out together or I can uh, put up a quick video for you. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you.